So tomorrow marks the first day of the promotion going on for the new Kosher Apparel launch. And since I haven't started the promotion, I've just kind of been hinting at it. I don't know if you guys would know. The new V2 shirts will be dropping on August 17th. They're pretty much the same style as the last V2 shirts, except these are going to be black and white. The logo has been updated. It's going to be like a raised 3D print logo instead of the old logo. So it's going to last a lot longer. It's going to be a lot more durable. The material and the fit of the shirt is a lot different too. It's going to be a little more loose around the chest. It's still going to be tight on the sleeves. It's still going to be tailor fit, but it's just all around like more breathable fit in the shirt. And and now we will have the size charts up on the website, which is something that I didn't have on the website before. I don't know why, but that shirt will be dropping on August 17th. Yesterday I did a giveaway for this Navy dad hat from Collection 2. So if you aren't following Coach Shapiro or you aren't following me on Instagram, then you probably miss that giveaway. I'm going to be doing another giveaway throughout this launch. You won't know that unless you follow on one of the pages. So go follow those pages. And the last thing that I wanted to say was there will be a discount code for my YouTube subscribers. So if you follow me on YouTube, you're going to get 20% off next launch. And and it's not a code that I'm going to be putting on Instagram, so it'll be like strictly for the people that support me on YouTube. I did this last launch and a lot of people took advantage of using that code. It's pretty much a code to show my appreciation for everybody who's been supporting the YouTube channel this far. I actually think the plan right now is to go meet out with Patrick and shoot a little bit for kosher. And then later on, I'm actually going to head to the gym and go over the main topic of this video, which is the program that Jeff wrote me. Although it's like a personalized program for myself, it is going to be interesting to go over it with you guys on how he structured the program and how it's a lot different than the way that I've been working. They were never friendly, yeah. Now I'm going out of bed, yeah. And I know I sound dramatic, yeah. But I know I had a habit, yeah. For the money, I'm a savage, yeah. I'll be used to like I had it, yeah. So I just did this clip before and the camera cut off so I don't know if it's gonna cut off again if it does I'm just gonna quit this clip in the clip before that I introduced Sky who is in town now living with Pat Pat's girl you guys haven't met her on the vlog yet she's been here for a while though and we just finished up shooting for kosher apparel Got some pics of Pat, got some pics of I. Feels weird saying all this again after I just <laughs> said it all. But now we're about to head to the gym and I'm gonna just overlay the clips over and explain to you guys at home how Jeff has my programming structure for the next couple of weeks. I think we might be doing like a six month bulk or something like that, six to eight month bulk. And then I'll be doing my cut. I don't know how I'm gonna do my cut. Maybe it'll be with this guy, so. We're all a team, man. Yeah, you know we're it'll be team. lit if I do it with him. So we're about to hit the gym right now. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back home. All right, so before I run you guys through this workout, I'm actually going to give you some context on what this program is actually structured like, or kind of like just a general idea of this program. It is going to be an eight-week physique program, and it's going to actually be a six-day split instead of a seven-day split. Day one is going to be an upper strength day. Day two is going to be a lower hybrid day. Day three is going to be a rest day. It's supposed to do either abs or cardio, but I mean, that, that sounds terrible day four is going to be a back and shoulders day hypertrophy day five chest and arms hypertrophy and deadlift squat assistant on that day day six is actually going to be a rest day and then after that i'm going to repeat the cycle so like i said eight week program tailored towards like building a wider physique obviously this is kind of geared towards me like competing so it's going to be exercises that are going to help me build broader shoulders a wider back the workout that i'm about to take you guys through is actually going to be day five of the split which is going to be the chest and arm hypertrophy plus deadlift or squat assistant. On the start of day five, it's either gonna be squats or deadlift. So it's gonna alternate each week with actually a leg press in the middle, which is supposed to be like a D-low day for me. But anyways, today I was doing squats with 75% of a one rep max for speed. And um, actually this didn't feel too hard. I was actually kind of worried about how fast I was going up. Cause like I have never done a program where it was speed or heavy or just like technique training. I usually just train everything like four by six, four by eight, kind of like the more bro style workout. So when I start seeing things like percentages and speed, I kind of started to worry like, am I getting all my maximum potential? Like how fast am I going up? So you might see on this one clip here, I had David on the side of me and he was kind of checking out my form. I was like, hey man, like how fast am I going up? How fast should I be going up? Cause he's a power lifting guru. So he helped me out. He told me that I was actually breaking out the hips. Like he felt a little too fast. Before the workout I had in my head that I was breaking out my knees instead of my hips. So the whole time I was trying to like break out my hips, which in return made me break at my hips way too fast so that was the only advice he gave me he said my speed was really good on that i got through that four by three like really easily i'm really excited to see these variations and squat reps and sets percentages and stuff like that like today was a four by three the next day i do squats will be a five by one so it's like really switching it up a lot from what i've been doing switching it up always good shock the muscles the next thing that we moved on to was the start of the chest workout started that out with incline dumbbell press that was for three sets of 10 to 12 reps i've been doing an incline dumbbell press 
since I started my training, so I'm pretty used to this. The next thing I went on to was weighted dips, and I'm not gonna lie, my dip is like really, really weak for some reason. I have strong triceps, at least I thought I had strong triceps. My weighted dips is kind of low. So I went over to the dip machine and went for a moderate weight because what I'm supposed to be doing on this is actually two sets of 12 to 15, and I felt like that was like really high for me to be doing like bare bone dips, um, considering like I said, my dips are like really weak. I was actually only supposed to do two sets. I ended up doing three sets just to make sure I was giving like my full effort or just feeling guilty about doing that on the machine instead of like a bare bone dip. But by the end of it, my chest and my triceps were pretty taxed. So I feel like I got my full effort on that. Next thing I went on to was a pec deck. And this is actually gonna be like a super interesting variation of program that I usually wouldn't do myself. It's gonna be a three by 15 to 20 reps. So it's a lot higher rep than I would usually do. And to end it off on the last set, I'm actually gonna do a close grip push up to failure. When I got to those top failure reps in the push up set, it got pretty hard, but I think I did 10 or 15 reps on that before I actually went to failure. So I already know, I say that's pretty solid. The next thing on the list was supposed to be a weighted stretch dumbbell press. Not gonna lie, I actually jacked this exercise up completely. It says to do a 60 second hold and increase the dumbbells by five pounds each week or add five seconds to the time. I actually ended up just doing the sets and reps from the pec deck on this because I didn't fully read it. I was in the gym, I was pumped up. I had a bunch of pre-workout in me. I don't know, I wasn't reading. I messed that up. It's the first time I'm doing something really structured where I have to kind of like read through it. So this week I'll make sure I'm reading through it and hitting that how it's supposed to be done. That was actually supposed to be the last chest exercise, but I went ahead and did some close grip barbell work. I felt like since it was my first day doing this day five workout that I just had a little more in me to give. So I went ahead and did that extra exercise and I don't feel like that's gonna hurt at all. And this end up day five, we did simple arm exercises, a curl variation, some skull crushers, and some cable press downs. I feel like I've been a guy who's always trained arms pretty heavily and well-rounded. So these are nothing new to my vlogs that you guys haven't already seen. And that's gonna conclude day five. I'm gonna make a series of these videos going through day one to six, obviously not the rest day. Maybe I will go on the rest day. I'll just do a vlog for that day. Go through all of these. So if you want, you can watch the videos, get the full program, do the program for yourself, and just follow along with the progression. I'm gonna end the video right here. Before I go, remind you guys, August 17th, Kosher Apparel launch is gonna drop. If you're not following me or you're not following Kosher Apparel, then you're probably gonna miss the release date. And supply is super limited. If you want something, make sure you're on the site when the stuff drops. And make sure you guys use that YouTube discount code that I got for the subscribers only. I will leave that in the description. Appreciate you guys watching the video. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next vlog. I want if I'm a crew, yeah. Personal over, yeah.